I'm doing a short tour of the open source voxel image editor called Goxel. And I want to tell you a little bit about layers. Now you know layers from a two-dimensional image editor can be thought of as different levels of the image, different layers of an image where one piece can be stacked on top of the other piece until you get the whole image from the combined layers. In the 3D image editor it's basically the same concept except they're not really on top of each other because we're already in three-dimensional space and so you can instead think of the layers as just different aspects of the image that are independently editable. And you can see from this little house that I've put together here there are several layers and I'll show you a little bit about how you can interact them. So one thing you can do is change which layers are visible. And I've got the roof, I can make that visible or not visible, the outer walls, inner walls, the ground floor, and then the ground itself. And by clicking these eye icons I can change which layers are visible and by making them invisible I'm also actually changing how I will go about interacting with the image a little bit because if I take away for example the outer walls I can now easily access the interior if I make it visible again the interior is now blocked off even though I'm actually editing and I'll show you that the in the ground layer and when you're editing a different layer you used to do that by selecting the name of the layer and this is really most easily understood when you're using the subtract tool. So when I'm subtracting something I can see very clearly that if I try to subtract things from the roof layer I can do that but if I'm still in the roof layer and I try to change things in the ground or the walls it's not going to work. Whereas if I switch over to the walls layer even if I can see the roof layer I no longer can edit it. Uh, but let's go to the outer walls. But from the outer walls I can go ahead and start to change those when I want to add things to the image it doesn't really matter what layer I'm on as far as where I can put something so I can be in the roof layer and add something that looks like it's sitting on the ground because we're talking about the layers not the actual physical uh, location of the blocks and so if I go ahead and change that right you can see that this is actually now part of the roof layer that's really handy for being able to edit specific separate parts of the image so that if I want to just focus on doing something here I can do that and if I want to do something here I can do that and I can get the whole image back really quickly the, those are the real basic things as far as being able to see different layers and choose which layer you're editing the other thing I want to pay attention to is just so you know, you can change the priority of the layers and make one layer sort of on top of or underneath another layer by using these little arrows. And you can add a new layer and give it a name. And now I have a new layer that's not attached to any of these other ones. And you can also subtract it because I actually don't need that. And then if you really want to, you can totally get rid of a layer but if you do that, now it's gone. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. Those are the basics of how you would go about editing in different layers, which gives you the capacity to change different aspects of the image and without interfering with parts that you don't want to interfere with.